Hi to everyone. Um, in this video, I am just going to discuss about normal forms. Uh, there are two types of normal forms. Um, one is a Chomsky normal form and next one is a Gripak normal form. We are um, in one video that we have discussed about the Gripak normal form and the link um, about the Gripak normal form uh, which is given in the description box. You can refer it. Uh, today I am just going to discuss about the Chomsky normal form. A context free grammar is in Chomsky normal form if all productions are of the form. What are the forms? Uh, a non terminal is a generating two term two non terminals. And a non or a non terminal generating a terminal or a non terminal generating epsilon. So if you are going to check whether the given grammar is in the Chomsky normal form or not you should check for these things what are they a non-terminal should generate only two uh, non-terminals and a non -ter or a non-terminal uh, should generate a terminal or the non-terminal should generate epsilon so it should satisfy any one of these conditions if a particular grammar is satisfying any one of uh, these conditions means then we can say uh, that grammar is in the Chomsky normal form and here uh, a b c or the non-terminals a is a terminal and this is an epsilon okay so now let's uh, take one grammar for example here i am taking s generating a s and r it means you just see here s is generating a s uh, that means a non-terminal is generating two non-terminal r s generating a terminal so the, when you are taking this production it obeys the first rule and when you are taking this production it obey, obeys the second rule so we can conclude this grammar is in the Chomsky normal form our next one thing what we are going to discuss is uh, how to convert the context free grammar uh, into, into the Chomsky normal form so I am just going to take one example here. We can consider the example S generating no. A, B, A, A generating A, A, B and then B generating A, C. You consider here here the non-terminal is generating uh, two non-terminals which is followed by a terminal. But as per the um, definitions, a non-terminal uh, should generate two non-terminals or else it should generate a terminal or else it, jo it should generate epsilon. But here the condition fails. And when you are taking this one, here also in this production also, a non-terminal is generating three terminals. And here a non-terminal is generating a non-terminal which is followed by a terminal. So we should convert this grammar into the CNF. In order to convert this one, uh, what I am just going to do it here is... Uh, first, I am taking a non-terminal generating A, B. I am just going to convert this uh, terminal into a non-terminal by writing the production as B. I am just substituting B A here. Where I am going to write B A is generating A. So, in the place of A, I am writing B A here. In the same way, here also I can write A is generating. How can um, I write it here is, um, I can write it here is, um, 
डीए बिकॉज ए बी इज जनरेटिंग ए सो वी कैन सब्स्यूट बी ए इन द्लेस ऑफ ए एंड हियर ऑलसो बी ए एंड फॉर बी वी कैन राइट बी बी सो बी बी इज जनरेटिंग बी नेक्स्ट वी कैन चेंज दिस वन ए बी सी we can write the production as bc is a generating c next here even though if we have uh, introduced a productions here as uh, uh, ba is a generating a and bb generating b and bc is a generating c and we have substituted all these things here but still um what's happening here uh, the, um, uh, a non terminal is a generating uh, three non terminals here also a non terminal is a generating three non terminals here the non terminal is a generating two non terminals so it's in the cna form but we have to convert uh, these two productions into the cna form so in order to convert uh, Mm, these uh, uh, two productions into the cna form i'm just going to uh, introduce the productions uh, further on how i'm going to introduce means s uh, stands to a d1 where d1 is generating b b a and a is generating b a d2 where d2 generating b a b b and then b is generating a b c um so here we can write a b c tends to c and we can write the rest of the productions that we have written here so b a is generating a and B B is generating B. So you just see here after the introducing uh, these productions, uh, we are getting the productions in the form of a C N F. Now the non-terminal S is generating two non-terminals, and uh, the non-terminal A is generating two non-terminals, and here uh, B is also generating two non-terminals. and b a is a generating a terminal b b is a generating a terminal and d1 is a generating uh, two non terminals uh, d d1 is a generating two non terminals d2 is also generating two non terminals b c is a generating a terminal uh, so when you are uh, looking into these productions all these productions are obeying the uh, rules of the c n f that's why we can conclude this grammar has been converted into the cna form and now it, it is in the chomsky normal form so whenever the grammar is given at first we have to check whether the given grammar is in the uh, cna form or not if it is not then we should convert it by introducing some of the productions and then uh, we can uh, bring that for grammar into the cna form i hope that you have understand this concept clearly in case if you are having any doubts kindly post your queries thank you